Hey guys, I'm back. I'm making a lot of videos recently, um, but I'm kind of in the mood to do it, so yeah. Usually I just do all this stuff and, you know, keep to myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, god it's freezing today, isn't it? Um, they've put out like a severe weather warning pretty much like everywhere around here Oops. um so that's fun even though it seems to have calmed down now um it was good <laughs> lots of fun <laughs> um so yeah today i'm doing this makeup look it's a leopard print inspired look um and it's purple and green um but yeah glitchy camera again um so it's purple kind of background with like green spots um i really like purple and green as a nice combination so i decided to just put a spin on it and do that i've also got a green underline underneath my lashes um, to accentuate the green a bit more so I will get started Um, so I'm gonna start off with the same palettes I didn't use last time, so it's a multi-coloured one, and I'm going to be using this one, and it's kind of, it looks a bit darker here, but it's, it's just a lilac-y purple, so, um, gonna start with that at the base. Ooh. It's hard to do it on camera. I think <laughs> I get a mirror. So I just put that concentrating the colour at the other side. At the outer corner of my eye. blend that out. We don't want to take it too far past our lash now. But it can go up quite far since we are going to um, extend it out, extend out the leopard print up this way, up this part of our eye. So I'm just going to blend that with a bit of white, just in the corner, slightly, and also a bit up here. So now we've got the purple base on, I'm going to get my liquid liner and we're going to line the eye, give it a little flick at the corner and then I'll show you how to do the leopard prints. I did swap eyes this time. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I think it was because I am having a bit of 
um, sort of allergic reaction at the moment and my eye is starting to puff up a bit so I'm try <laughs> try trying to not to put too much pl pressure on it probably means that I shouldn't be doing a tutorial today but it's okay So we're actually going to do quite a thick liner. If I can do it again. Alright, so we've got our liquid liner in, like that. It's a bit thicker at the end. I'm not very good at making eyeliner the same, so don't judge me too harshly. I'm sure there's someone, a lot of people out there that can do it better than me, so take their example on that. <laughs> Um, so next I'm going to get um, my eyeliner pencil, uh, I've got this one by Reflect, it's a gothic, really dark black eyeliner, it's really, really, really soft, um, but good. And I'm gonna do that quite thick, thickly on the lash line. <laughs> Got a runaway eyelash there. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that just to about here. a little bit further in so just like that and make sure that you connect the end here upwards with that flicky up your one <laughs> with your top liner because it's looks better when they're connected I guess. Um, so then I'm going to go back to my liquid liner and I'm going to do these sort of half circly like um, things. It's kind of like two C's. They don't quite connect um, and they can be imperfect. They don't have to be. Um, 
really, really perfect because you're never going to get them, I think. And we're going to go up on a diagonal up towards the end of our brow. So, so try and make them bigger and smaller and you know, different sizes. This is a bit difficult on this side. That does look a bit weird when you first do it. Um, but as you colour them in, it ends up looking a lot better. Yeah, we're just doing a little C like thing. You can do it. <laughs> they can also be varying in um, how dark they are. You can have which will happen as you go anyway. So after we do that, um, we're just going to fill it in with some green eyeshadow. So I have a lip brush here. You can use any brush that you want, but I'm just using it because it's small. And I'm using the same palette. And I'm going to be using this green and also that one. They are really quite vibrant spring sort of greens. And that's them when they're covered in the green. So I'm also going to take that top green that I showed and I'm going to put just a little smudge of it underneath the black liner that I've already done. So there we have our green liner underneath. Um, so the last thing that we have to do 
is just do a mascara. So I've got the Inoxa Fuller Lash here and I'm just going to do that. So I'm doing the top lashes and the bottom lashes. So that's the eyes done. So all we have to do is do the lips. Um, I would, if you were going to use a lipstick, just use a very basic nude sort of tone because we don't want to distract from the eye and I've just got some of that lip gloss the ultra shine lip gloss So that's our look. It's a nice, um, different sort of look that you don't see around very often. So, um, feel very unique wearing it. I wouldn't usually wear this out <laughs> unless it was um, somewhere really special. Um, like a costume party or some sort of party thing. So yeah, um, hope you guys liked it and let me know if you want anything in particular and I'll see you guys around. Okay, see you guys, bye.